What is going on YouTube? This is your boy Havo and I'm back with another video and this time I'm going to be discussing these three different mics with you and what it takes to actually um, record quality sound. I'm still investigating it but I thought that while I'm trying to compare these mics I'd share them with you and you know give you a little bit of insight as to what this stuff sounds like. So before we get started let me just share with you a little bit of the background. Um, I started out with this microphone here. It's the Audio Technica 2100, um, ATR 2100. I think it was around $50, $60 or so on Amazon. The one in the middle was a second one that I purchased recently. It's the Blue Yeti. Um, and this one's around, I think, $100. And then lastly, we have the Blue Snowball, which is the one I'm talking through right now. There's two different versions. There's the ICE version, and then there's the, I guess, regular version. Um, I paid around $50 for it on Amazon. So if you guys are interested in uh, purchasing a more budget economy style mic, here are three examples that um, I think will, um, you know, will be good choices for, for you. I've done a lot of research online. I know that there's, um, a significant factor in all this is something that I really can't change unless I were to put these the noise foam on the walls is um, is the room you know my room echoes I know that it has background noise I have a fan on my computer so I'm constantly having to deal with all these different um, you know obstacles when it comes to clear audio and I'm very OCD uh, personality type I have to have things perfect so I constantly tweak and you know configure and reconfigure and so I'm the kind of person that wants things to sound a certain way or look a certain way um, and so this video is going to be about these three microphones so we're going to start off with the blue snowball I have on the uh, screen here I'm showing you this application called voice meter um, it allows you to play multiple microphones and I have it all set to zero right now so nothing on here is changed if I wanted to I can actually lower my voice or make my voice higher um, put more echo um, there's a lot of things you can do with this software but I'm not going to get into that right now um, I am using it as a test to see how it works but as I mentioned right now I have it all set to the basic settings so with that said, let's get started. So we have the blue snowball. Now the blue snowball is, I'm comparing it and I'm trying to figure out which one's the best. So this is the way it sounds right now. If I get closer, it can sound a little bit better, I think, less noise. Um, it gets louder, as you can tell. Um, this is what it sounds like further away. I have it in cardioid mode. Uh, there's three different modes that it gives you. This is the one that basically has the sound coming straight towards this way you have other ones that the sound rotates around so that's the um the blue snowball let's go ahead and switch over to the so this is the yeti and the yeti gives from what i've seen more background noise um this is also on cardi cardioid or cardioid mode um where it's getting the front of the microphone uh the the surrounding pieces of the microphone um, are still loud. I mean, I think this one actually, you can hear when I click, you can hear the clicks, you can hear, you, know, you can hear the keyboard. And for some reason, this microphone tends to pick up a lot of background noise, which is why I went over to the Blue Snowball to see how this one would work. Um, if I get closer to it, it gets really loud, as you can see here. Um, if I move back away, then, you know, it starts to come down a little bit. But this one's pretty good for podcasting, um, but it also depends on how much noise you have in the background. If you're going to be doing a lot of typing or you have mouse movement that you're doing, it's not going to be the best one. I'll just tell you right there. Um, so the Blue Yeti for me, it really hasn't been the one that I need because it's got too much background noise. Um, but it's the most expensive of the three, which is funny. It's a, got nice hardware. It's heavy. Um, you can tell it's a good piece of machinery. It's the same company, Yeti, that makes the Snowball. So, um, so yeah, so this is the blue. This costs 100 bucks, I think, on eBay or on Amazon. Um, you can probably get it used for less, but that is the, um, the Yeti. Let's switch over to the Audio Technica. Now, this is the Audio Technica 20, ATR 2100. This one is a little bit different because if I back away, 
it's not going to pick up as much of the sound. You can hear it's a little bit less noisy. So if you come closer to it, then it starts to get more and more. Um, the decibel level goes up and then it starts to sound probably more comparable to these other two that you hear here. So this one is, I feel like this one's my favorite microphone. It's the original one that I bought, um, but I still hear background noise on, on these. And we'll go ahead and do a background test right now. This is the Audio Technica ATR2100 silent with my room, which has a fan, uh, you know, computer fan, echoey. But just to give you an example, here we go. All right, now I'm going to switch over to the Blue Yeti. Now we're on the Blue Yeti. Let's hear the background noise here. All right, now I'm going to switch to the Snowball. And let's see what kind of background noise we have on the Snowball. Obviously, there's ways that you can get the background noise out by using programs like Odyssey. This right here is helpful. I can bring the noise uh, down through different uh, setting changes. But I want to see how this stuff sounds by itself to get you a fair comparison between the three. So here's a Snowball. All right, so now I'm going to switch back to what I feel is my favorite microphone. And that is the ATR2100. Uh, it's a cheap microphone. It's a uh, microphone that I think has very high quality. It also has the XLR cable uh, jack output in the back if you want to get some kind of a, um, an amp uh, to, you know, to, to control this thing. You can do that. Uh, but the problem with this microphone, which is what you can see, I have to sit very close to it and it's annoying, um, cause I like to have more space when I'm talking, but I feel like it sounds the best out of the three. Let's go ahead and do a comparison again between this one and the blue snowball. All right, here's the blue snowball. And this is what it sounds like when I'm talking. If I get closer, this is what it sounds like when I get closer to the blue snowball. And the Blue Snowball is not a bad mic. I would rank this mic number two out of the mics. If I step further away, it can give me more range, which I kind of like. Um, it's basically the middle ground because you have the Audio Technica 2100. This is the Audio Technica 2100, and I have to stand very close to it. This is about as far as I can get for it to sound decent. And this is the way the Audio Technica 2100 sounds. This is the blue snowball and I can stand a little bit further away and it sounds about the same volume level. Has more noise than the Technica 2100, but it is kind of the middle of the road. So if you want the best quality, I feel like the Audio Technica 2100 is the best quality, but you have to stand very close to it. So that's the negative. The snowball is, I think in between, which is funny, in between the blue Yeti. So I'm gonna go ahead and move the blue Yeti on, uh, turn it on do this one. So here is the, here is the blue Yeti. And as you can tell, I can stand really far away from it and it can still pick up my voice very fine. It picks up a lot of noise. Um, it's probably a good mic if you have a very, very quiet room, which I don't have. So, um, it's something that I feel like it's not going to work for me. It just picks up way too much background noise and it's good if you want to stand further away but you have to have a very quiet environment for it to work in. And I'm probably not going to keep this one. All right. So back to the blue snowballs between the blue snowball and the audio technica 2100. I'm not going to spend any more money. There are other ones out there that cost more, but they require more audio equipment and I'm not planning on spending that kind of money. So um, let me know what you guys think in the comments. If you like one versus the other, this was um, straight up comparison. And I think at the end, I'm probably going to try to use the Audio Technica 2100 or ATR 2100 or the, um, the uh, Blue Snowball. I'll put 
each one of these in the description below um, to check out the prices and the specs and everything. And, and I'll share that so you guys can see which ones I have here. And then um, let's go ahead and switch over to the 2100 for one last try. All right, here's the 2100. And this is what I want to go with. Now, if I had to deal with it, I'd probably bring it in here, um, get it closer so you guys can actually see. And this is what it would sound like if I had it close to my mouth. And um, I think this one sounds better. I'm obviously going to listen to this back and see which one I think sounds better. But you guys, um, let me know. I'd love to hear what your thoughts are. Um, I also have, lastly, I have this Rode um, Boom Arm. I just bought this. This is about $100 on Amazon. And it's really, really nice. It moves around very, very cleanly. It has a spring um, attachment here that, you know, makes the arm go up and down. So it's kind of nice. Um, it's very good for heavy microphones. This one's almost too light because it wants to shoot up on me. Um, but overall, this is pretty nice. And then I also have a pop filter, um, which I may or may not use depending on how, how I feel. Um, but, but yeah, so these are the three microphones. I know the volume level, you know, goes up and down depending on which one you're using and how close you are. As you can tell here, I'm closer. Um, and this one's really good if you want to get close quality audio and, um, going back to the snowball, this one's good if you want to stand a little bit further away. If you get close to it, you can actually hear it well also, but I think it picks up more background noise based on our test. So that's it guys. Thanks for watching. I know this is videos different than what I normally do, but I think a lot of us out there struggle back to the 2100 struggle to, um, pick out what audio and video equipment we want. I'm also using a Logitech C, I think it's a C920 webcam. I purchased a, I purchased this bad boy. This is a Canon um, SL2, Rebel SL2. It's a DSLR camera <clears throat> and this is a Rode microphone. It's a micro uh, microphone. And this equipment's very expensive, um, but I don't use this for a webcam. I may at some point, because there's ways you can do it. <clears throat> Excuse me, but for now, you know, it works. Um, this is more for just the dev logs I'm doing. I use it for, you know, family photos and things. And these get very expensive because the lenses cost a lot of money. So you gotta, you know, watch that. But that's basically my equipment, guys, at least my audio and uh, visual equipment that I use. And hopefully you guys, you know, learned something, got something out of it. Like I said, leave your comments. Let me know if you like a certain microphone better than another, or if you have your own microphone that you think is good. Um, if you guys have any ideas on how I can get my audio to sound even quieter and cleaner, let me know. I think I have to get a sound booth, which I'm not going to do. Um, and that's it. So thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. And uh, peace. Peace.